I've already shuffled and I also pulled two oracle cards for your recent past. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go over the present time. How your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Taurus, in the recent past, we have children. And this card, it reads, children, your love life is being affected by children. And this card is paired with comfort. On the flip side of comfort, it reads, lean back into the arms of grace. Let go and let God. So, what I'm picking up on is that for some of you, Taurus, in the recent past, you had children. Or maybe you just had one child. And it was affecting your love life. So you probably couldn't date that much. Maybe you were a single parent. And maybe you were a young mother. And it just, your love life couldn't, couldn't move. It couldn't go anywhere. Because uh, you had a child to tend to. Or you had more than one. So really the only thing you could do was to take comfort. Lean back into the arms of grace. Let go and let God. So that brought you strength and comfort when you did that. And uh, yeah, children, they were affecting your, your, your love and your, your romantic life in the recent past. For some of you, Taurus, not all of you, but Let's take a look at the present time. Let's move on over. Now we have the Hermit card and Empress for your present time in March. Now the Hermit card is a very um, spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. Um, you could be in the frame of mind in the month of March or around that time that you want to be alone or you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head, refocus. This is also a card about trying to do the right thing, trying really hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing it includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So when it talks about love and relationships, it could be possible it could be possible that um, someone from your past, when you get this hermit card, someone from your past may want to um, come back. You're gonna have to ask yourself. Is that what you really want? Because right now it seems that romantic relationships or in the month of March, they're not currently a priority for you. And if your head says that you want nothing more than a romantic relationship, look at your behavior. Does it align with that analysis? In a committed relationship, if you're in a committed relationship, you could be moving in different directions or you could have been moving in different directions for a while you need to make sure that you put in time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive now this hermit card is paired with the empress now just to explain the empress um, the empress is someone who doesn't play by the rules she has her own way of doing things, her own ideal of what is right, what is wrong in any and all endeavors. This does not mean she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side in the month of March. Uh, the Empress, it signifies coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that's always, or that will always mean financially. Because as you know, there are many types of wealth and riches in life and money is only one of them. 
But as the Empress, you'll be able to encompass any or all of them. When the Empress talks about love and relationships, it's a very, very potent time for love. And you could find that men and women, both, they're suddenly finding you far more attractive for friendship and for romance. Now, keep in mind, you will want to be careful how you use this power. Don't underestimate its potency. If there's some single Taurus out there listening, and you're looking for a relationship or love, then this is a time when love, well, let's put it this way, true love, that is, could very well come your way in the month of March or around that time. In fact, if you're single and not looking in true love, it'll probably seek you out anyway. Committed relationships, they often become sweeter, deeper, truer, under the influence of the Empress. And that's for your present time, Hermit and Empress. So a lot of people will be drawn to you um, coming up. They're going to find you beautiful. I don't know if you got some really pretty pictures on social media, um, if you're famous or what, but a lot of people, they're going to want to know, what do you got to say? What, what are you wearing? Uh, how's your hair today? Uh, who she's with? Who, who is he dating? Um, so you'll be attracting a whole lot for friendship and romance. But it's going to make you feel like withdrawing. Uh, maybe you're the type that's not really into attention. Yeah, you might just want to just be alone. Yeah, this is not really for you. Or maybe something about it is going to be too overwhelming for you. So... You just want to probably take long walks by yourself just to clear your head. But you got a lot of people wanting to get to know you. And you'll be coming into abundance in a lot of ways as the Empress. And this is a good thing. Um, but it, it could be, um, like I said, making you feel like you need to clear your mind. Maybe you're just not used to this abundance um, and used to this much attention. So that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at the person you're dealing with, how they see you. They see you as this Ace of Swords and the Two of Cups. Now the Ace of Swords is about new beginnings on several fronts. It could be more than one new beginning. Sometimes this new beginning, it will be started by a separation. Some kind of separation. It could be from a relationship, from a job. It could be from a neighborhood. But just keep in mind, um, know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go. The Ace of Swords. It calls on us not to be afraid to take a leap if it's in our best interest. When it talks about love and relationships, it can mean that you are ready to start a new relationship or start something new. And if you're currently committed, it can indicate that there's probably something about the relationship that you're going to choose to put a stop to. Because that's what the sword is there for. You got to cut something out. Don't hesitate to speak your mind. If something in the relationship is hurtful or bad for you and you lose your partner because you say so, just know you haven't really lost. You're being guided towards a relationship that's better for you. So speak the truth. And this is how your person is seeing you. That's how they see you, this Ace of Swords. And it's paired with the Two of Cups. Now, to explain the Two of Cups, it's a card that represents true love, balanced partnership, commitment, all the things that most of us hope for and long for when it comes to love and relationships. However, this doesn't mean that you can just say or do whatever you want and that your love relationship will last. It only means that 
the real solid potential for true love and affection is there. True love. And if you are looking for love, there's some single tourists out there. This is a signal that it's very likely to be coming. It's coming in really soon. So this is also how your person is seeing you. They see you as a romantic love, a partnership. They see you as possible marriage potential. Yeah, they see you in a really good way. Um, they see you as a union, as a deep connection. Um, they find you to be a friend. And they like, they, they like sharing and um, they experience a lot of joy with you with this Two of Cups. But they also see you as this Ace of Swords. They see you as wanting to cut something out. Or, or they see you as um, trying to separate yourself from something. And, um, or either they know that you need to do this. They, they, may, think that you, they may know that you need to stop something um, so that you can get a, a new beginning. So, they got a lot of love for you with this too. They see you, well, they see you with a lot of love, put it that way. Um, but they, they see you as, as wanting to or needing to put a stop to something. Okay, just so that um, this, this connection can um, take off to possibly a new level. Okay, so uh, the good thing about it is that um, that Two of Cups there, that Two of Cups is, is really strong. Okay, but there's something that you got to cut out, and they know this, and this is how they see you. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see the person you're dealing with. You see them as the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Now, the Knight of Cups, it's about being optimistic. And it's a really good card to see in a reading. Um, it comes with messages. Now, these messages are really good news messages. The, the type of messages that we all want to receive it um, it's showing that things they're um, going really well or they will be really soon and you'll be feeling charged up and ready for action when you get this card it means um, good news when it comes to matters of the heart uh, it's likely to be coming your way like I said really soon and I say soon because uh, the man is on this, it looks like he's on a, some type of fish or a well or whatever that is. And he's he's um, ready to take action. He's charged up. He's ready to go. So it's coming in really fast. When this Knight of Cups talks about love and relationships, it's very positive. If you're single... This card indicates that someone wants to sweep you off your feet. And if you're in a relationship, it can indicate marriage, commitment. At the least, in the context of love, this card it means positive messages. Things that, like I said, everyone wants to hear when it comes to love and relationships. So you have to be open to exploration of your feelings. And this is how you see them. This is how you see a person, this Knight of Cups. And it's paired with the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands, if you're already in a committed relationship, don't hesitate to speak your mind. This is going to improve your relationship as long as you're considerate of the way in which you speak your mind. If you're single, this card can indicate that you're about to meet someone new away from your usual search so make you make sure you're switching up things trying something new uh, this seven of wands uh, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top you're gonna you're gonna be the winner you come out on top and this is how you see a person also knight of cups and seven of wands so you see them as wanting to come in and offer you a cup of love. Not just come in, but charge in. They want to come in really fast. They want to take action. They're ready. 
we see them as being rainy. All right, and the, the Seven of Wands is there, so yeah, you see them wanting to come out on top and win, win this connection. They want to win you. That's how you see them. So this is a good thing, how you see them. Yeah, so let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's all happening. Now, it's happening due to the Chariot and Ten of Wands. Now, the Chariot is a really pretty card. I hope you can see it. Let me, let me move the light over. Nope, that doesn't help. But anyway, let me explain the Chariot to you. It's about a lot of energy. But it's not a free-for-all energy. Uh, this type of energy, energy, it's directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. Uh, it's about being really clear on what your hopes and dreams involved involve, and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Uh, it's about being determined and ambitious. It's about getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. This is a sign that you should move forward with what you have in mind and also in your heart and give it your best shot. Remember that you'll need to use both your intellect and your heart in order to truly be successful. And when the chariot talks about love and relationships, uh, it could be something like you or your person, you're tempted to go too far too fast, or like I said, someone could be pressing you that way. Either way, communicate as best as you can about your boundaries and your preferences and be honest with yourself about the possibilities. If you are not interested in a relationship with someone who clearly wants one with you, then the kindest thing you can possibly do is to let them know that you're not interested because the short term anger or frustration that this could cause, is gonna benefit everyone in the long run. So this is one of the reasons why it's all happening. Now, the other reason is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, it's about a hard place in a relationship. It can be that your person, your lover, is undergoing a rough time. And it may not have anything to do with the relationship, but it needs your support. So, it indicates that there's something in the relationship that needs to be examined, looked at, and considered. Just know you will not gain anything by pretending that there are no problems. And... You also could be feeling like you're carrying a heavy burden when you get the Ten of Wands. So this is why it's happening also. Ten of Wands and the Chariot. I'm picking up that someone is rushing a situation. Someone is rushing something in this connection. And it's causing someone to be overwhelmed. Now this Ten of Wands... Like I said, it's a burden, some type of heavy burden. You see this man, he's walking forward with these ten wands. He's carrying ten wands. He's walking forward, but he's leaning backwards. He's about to collapse backwards. He's about to fall backwards. So something, someone feels like they got a heavy load in this connection. And they feel pressed with this chariot. They feel like they're being rushed. Yeah. But the good thing, though, is you got this Two of Cups there. Like I said, that's a powerful card. Someone has a lot of love. And it's under, that's how they see you. As a union, a partnership. And we got this Knight of Cups there. Someone... Well, you see them as wanting to bring in that, that cup of love. So, you got a situation where someone is um, feels a little pressed, though, with this chariot card. Uh, they feel like someone could be rushing them for something. And it's causing them to feel um, like they got a heavy load on their shoulders. So you might want to follow who's ever doing the rushing or pushing too, pushing to go too far too fast. You might want to fall back on that because there's a lot of love in this 
in this um, connection. And someone wants to offer that, bring that cup of love, but they don't want to be rushed. Now, now is not a good time to rush them. For whatever they're being rushed for, because it's causing them to um, be burdened. So you might want to take a good look at that situation. And that's why it's all happening. So Taurus, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading. I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario, and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks if I don't get a chance to do the extended? There's always a link for personal readings in the description box. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope 2020 is going well for you. I hope that March is a beautiful month for you. And I also hope that you have a great day. Once again, thank you so very much for watching.